Hello and welcome to our BBC School Report. Our report is about the issue of homelessness in Britain and specifically our local area of Sutton. Sutton has the 37th most homeless people in England, something which the government is doing very little about. Since the Conservatives came to power in 2010, the number of people declared homeless has increased by 48%, while the number of sleeping rough has shot up by 168% in the same period. And despite the fact that the rise of homelessness is so drastic, some boroughs are buying one-way tickets out of the area for the homeless who have nowhere else to go. In theory, the amount of money spent on all these tickets could realistically be spent on building and running a new shelter. Although the government is rejecting the ideas of the homeless and trying to avoid the crisis, many people still want to help. Lots of homeless shelters and charities have been set up in recent years. We were lucky enough to talk to one of these. We spoke to Andy, the director of Sutton Night Watch Homeless, and asked him questions about how the charity works. We asked questions such as, what kind of services do you provide to homeless citizens? The responses we received were heartwarming and really opened our minds on the subject. He replied to us with, we provide hot food, hot drinks, we give them clothes, sleeping bags and tents, but most importantly, we give them a listening ear. They have approximately 140 people using their services each week, with ages varying from 19 to 66 years old. And yet, even with all of this going on around England, statistics show that the government has done very little to reduce homelessness around the country. The people of Britain are trying all they can to reduce this problem. However, last November, due to a spike in homelessness, a new reduction task force was set in place. This task force aims to half rough sleeping by 2020 and completely eliminate it by 2027. Hopefully, with this task force set up and working hard, in theory, homelessness in Britain will be much less of a problem in upcoming years although reports suggest that the task force has yet to hold its first meeting. With the help of charities and even the residents of Sutton, this problem can be vanquished. However, even though anyone can donate to any cause, not many people are aware of what they can do to help.